How's it going everyone and hope you're doing well. Welcome to this bit review and unboxing of the Nike Mercura Vapor 16s. These are the elite uh, models of the latest speed boots that Nike have brought out from the updates of the previous editions of the Vapor 15s. Like always with boots, they will always bring out a blackout version and that usually happens in the first initial couple weeks of release. Then in the midpoint, there will be another blackout colorway for the Vapors or the Nike boots. And then near the end, when it's time for another upgrade, usually they will bring out another pair of the blackout editions. So usually there's about two to three blackout colorways throughout the longevity of the boots. So this is the first official one of the Nike Mercura Vapor 16s. Again, from what we've seen in terms of the unboxing and on feet test, not much difference between the prototypes and these. Make sure to stay tuned with us, especially in the coming weeks. We're going to give it maybe two to three weeks. There should be a new colorway coming out for the Vapor 16s, the official first one, especially as the first ones was in terms of the white and blue, that was just a prototype. So there may be some small detail changes in terms of the material on the upper or the sole plates. So make sure to stay tuned and stay up to date with our channel. This could also be up to maybe a maximum of one to two months as well when the first colorway comes up. Maybe when the football season starts in the Europe, then that's when they'll release the first colorway, but it should be very soon. So for this video, we're just going to be running through the sizing in terms of these boots, these new Vapor 16s, just to help you out to see if these ones are for you, especially if you're thinking about getting a speed boot, new season coming soon, you know, for especially in Europe, and you want to play whether you're playing in professional level or just amateur, you can see if these sizings are for you and if they fit you well. Now, in terms of narrow to normal feet types, we recommend you going with your true to size night footwear sizing and then going from there. For narrow feet, if you find that after doing up the laces for these boots, you still have a bit of space in the toe box area and you in the midfoot is still it's quite easy to put your finger through the midfoot, then we recommend going a half size down for narrow feet types. For normal feet, again, start off with true to size, as we said, and then work your way from there. Usually for normal feet, going true to size should be fine. If you feel like you want a really snug and tight fit and not too much movement on the toe box area, then just go a half size down as well, like the narrow feet types. Some people that have very narrow feet, you may have to go one full size down. So it's better to sometimes order, if you're ordering from the Nike app website, get two, get two sizings and then find out which one works for you when you're trying to trying them on at home and then you can just always return the other pair that doesn't fit you as well for wide feet surprisingly for the vapors this year the vapor 16s as we thought it would be similar to the 15s these actually fit wide feet players but you just have to get the right sizing for these we recommend if you're at the night store or if you order them on online to go for your true to size and then a half size up and then see in terms of your comfort and the spacing after you've done up the laces which one you find more comfortable in, in, in that sense. We found out that for the wide feet, especially from a few people in our team that have wide feet and tried the Vapor 16s on, actually going a half size up did the, did the trick. They had a bit of space on the toe box area, not too much in terms of too much movement where your toes can move it freely. Um, and after doing up the laces, after going a half size up, it was really nice lockdown and stability. Um, and overall, just in terms of the breathing and feel for the boot, feel for the boots, it was really, really nice and comfortable. So from our end, especially for people that have wide feet, we recommend just going a half size up for these Mercura Vapor 16s. Especially the fact that if you had the 15s last year and you tried them on and you have wide feet and you went true to size or you went a half size up, they didn't fit you really well. This time it's a bit different. Going a half size up will give you a bit more space and leeway and it'll be very comfortable in terms of movement and stability. But of course, sometimes some people will get confused if they have wide or very wide feet. As for very wide feet, these unfortunately are not gonna fit you. If you want to stick with Nike, always go for the Nike Phantom GX2 Elite Editions. They're gonna be much more accommodating for your very wide feet. And some people have commented in the prototype editions, how do I know if I have very wide feet? So. In, in our end, if you go a half to one size up from your usual night footwear sizing and it feels still very uncomfortable or very tight in some certain areas and then you've got a lot of space in some other areas like the toe box and it's very tight in the midfoot or vice versa, then that could mean that you have very, very wide feet um, and it's not very 
in terms of the design and the shaping of the boots, it's not good for your feet type. It's better to go for, as we said, Phantom GX2, which is very wide in terms of the midfoot and toe box area, which would be much more accommodating for your very wide feet. But for wide feet, do try on with the sizings, either going true to size and half size up, and it should do the trick. Make sure to also leave a comment down below in terms of when, you, when you've ordered these Mercura Vapor 16s, whether it's now, in the present moment, or in the future, in terms of the sizing and what you thought. Make sure to leave the feedback as well in terms of what feet type you have and then what you found out as it helps out people that are also making a decision especially in the future and use this as reference for when it goes to them making a decision to see if these boots are for them. Sole plate wise we've had about two weeks now to test the prototypes out in artificial grass. We've had 50-50 comments. Some people saying don't wear these for artificial grass. Some people say wear it for artificial grass. You know you don't have the money to spend two pairs and there isn't, oh no, there is AG now that's been released for these blackout editions. Um, but some people don't have the money or budget to spend two pairs and they don't want to buy AG and then not be able to use that for FG. So in terms of our end, when we've used it for the AG pitches, we recommend just get used to the boots first in terms of the sole plate as it's a new stud pattern, very different to the previous edition. And for us, we found it more aggressive in terms of change of direction. That's one thing we noticed. So we recommend two to three weeks or even a month out of the box use on your own or training with friends before you take it into team training, just so you've adjusted and got used to the change of direction, the sole plate itself, and that will help reduce more chance of injuries. Again, some people prefer to just use it for firm grounds and that is fine too. Just go according to what is more comfortable for you but we find that it can be playing or played on FGAG because not everyone's got the budget to spend 500 euros or pounds for two pairs of elite boots. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a like and to subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time for another unboxing and boot review in the near future. All the very best and take care.